You probably know Vladimir Putin as the longest reigning president ever, and the guy who, uh, sparked a little war in 2022. But did you ever stop to think that maybe, just maybe, he's also the richest man in the world? That's right. Move over, Elon Musk, because Putin might be sitting on a net worth of $200 billion. From a $1.4 billion palace to a $716 million plane and a $100 million mega yacht. Putin is basically living the dream. Curious to know just how rich this guy really is? Well, stick around till the end of this video because we're about to dive into the wild world of stupidly expensive things Vladimir Putin owns. Expensive watches. Let's kick off this list with the most obvious thing that practically every billionaire on the planet seems to have a taste for luxury watches. Now, I'm not one to usually get starstruck, but when it comes to Putin's wristwatches, even I can't help but be impressed with what Vladimir Putin's been seen sporting in photographs. It's estimated that his entire watch collection boasts a staggering price tag of around $1 million. Yep, a million bucks just ticking away on his wrist. We're talking Rolexes, Patek Philippe's, Breguet's, with the latter worth $15,000, uh, you know, the works. It's like stepping into a high-end watch boutique but on Putin's arm instead. Now, one of Putin's most prized possessions is a white gold Patek Philippe perpetual calendar, valued at $60,000. In fact, these timepieces alone cost six times more than his official declared salary. But the luxury doesn't stop there. Putin's collection also includes other fancy designs such as the A. Lange and Sona Turbograph with a crocodile skin strap, priced at a stunning $470,000, and even a Blancpain Lehman Aqua Lung Grande date, ringing in at $11,000. I mean, love him or hate him, you've got to admit, Putin sure knows how to accessorize. Luxurious cars. Of course, just like any other billionaire on the planet, Vladimir Putin is known to have a massive collection of cars that could total as many as 700. These cars include many that are built in both Germany and Russia, including Mercedes-Benz collections and the ever-popular Lada range. It's also been speculated that has it that nestled among his fleet are some real gems, rare and supercars that would make any petrol head weak at the knees. For example, he's got Ferraris, Bentleys, and hey, even a Formula One car that Putin himself once took for a spin. Wild. And let's not forget about his presidential ride, the Aorus Senate limousine, priced at no less than $1.2 million, this bad boy is equipped with all the best features you can expect in a president's ride, including life-saving measures. Because when you're the president, safety is definitely a top priority. But don't think Putin's collection stops there. Oh no, he's got everything from extreme off-roaders to luxury sedans. We're talking about a Mercedes ML 500 worth $46,000, a Lada Vesta sedan that's a steal at $11,000, and even a specially made Gazelle limousine that set him back $160,000. And I'm also gonna throw in a humble Lada Neva four-wheel drive here, worth a modest $25,000. I mean, let's be real here, even when you're one of the most powerful men in the world, you've gotta have something for those weekend and off-road adventures, right? So there you have it. Putin's car collection, a mix of luxury, power, and a whole lot of horsepower. But did you think he would stop at cars? Nah, he decided to one-up the American president and got a train too. Ghost train. So you might have heard of Putin's ghost train while you were casually scrolling through those YouTube shorts on the guy. And no, it's not a haunted train somewhere in Moscow that Putin uses against his enemies to give them a little spook. Now, recently a sneak peek inside Putin's 22-car ghost train was let loose on the internet. And let me tell you, it's like stepping into a luxury hotel on rails. And the cost to build this lavish train? A jaw-dropping $74 million. And that's not even counting the hefty $15.8 million it takes to maintain this rolling palace each year. Crazy, right? As for the amenities, it's literally got a fully loaded gym, a spa area with all the anti-aging gadgets you can imagine, and even a Turkish bath steam room. All that on a train. On top of that, the ghost train has plush bedrooms fit for a king, fancy dining car, where Putin can whine and dine like a boss. And yes, even a movie theater. I mean, I wouldn't mind catching a flick either while I'm cruising through Russia if I was in his place. Now, here's where it gets interesting. This train isn't just about luxury, it's also about security. And we definitely know how particular Putin is about that. We're talking bulletproof everything. Doors, windows, you name it. And it's stocked with top-notch medical gear just in case things get dicey. And when Putin wants to call it a day after riding through the country on this insanely lavish train, he's got a fancy 
fancy palace for some headrest, too. Palace in the Billionaire's Village. Putin's latest palace is actually in a place called Billionaire's Village. Yeah, I'm really not kidding here about the name a whole village for billionaires indeed. So, this palace is the new addition to Putin's vast real estate portfolio, sitting pretty on the outskirts of Moscow. And when I say pretty, I mean it's freaking massive. The palace has two main buildings spanning a mind-boggling 123,785 square feet, with stables out back that could probably house a small army of horses, all 21,528 square feet of them. It's got everything from multiple helicopter landing pads, because why not arrive in style, to stables, a football field, a forest, and even a pond. It's also said to be nearly twice the size of Buckingham Palace, and the price tag is a whopping $380 million. That's enough to make my head spin. And of course, this 15-acre compound is no walk in the park. It's gated with security tighter than Fort Knox, and rumor has it that it's owned by a company called Property V. And here's the kicker. That V supposedly stands for Vladimir Putin. Now, if you're wondering about the whole ownership situation, well, you're not alone. It's kind of shrouded in secrecy. Officially, it's listed as belonging to the Russian Federation, but word on the street is that it's just a cover-up. Apparently, this place is owned by someone with some seriously high-level Kremlin connections. Hint, hint, it just might be Putin himself who likes to keep his assets hidden from the scrutiny of the US government. And you know what Putin does to keep the Americans off his back? I guess he simply takes to the skies on one of his many planes and pulls a disappearing act. Private jets and choppers? Now Putin's got quite the collection of air transportation, with about 58 aircrafts in his arsenal, including a bunch of Russian-made MI-8s. These babies come with a price tag of around $4 million each. But hey, when you're the president, money's no object. And one of his prized possessions is a $716 million plane hilariously dubbed the Flying Kremlin. Not only does this airplane boast lavatories outfitted with gold taps and toilet paper holders that would make King Midas jealous, but it also features a tile dance floor that magically transforms into a pool. In fact, this lavish aircraft is rumored to be one of only two ships in the world with this incredible feature. But the craziest feature on the Flying Kremlin has to be the $75,000 toilet. Yes, you heard that right, as weird as that sounds. Rumored to be worth a staggering $75,000, this toilet seat is said to be made of solid gold, or at the very least, adorned with gold fittings and heated toilet seats. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Putin's got access to a whole fleet of planes, including the presidential jet, an Ilyushin 96, a Boeing 747, an Airbus A380, and 15 different types of helicopters, some for private use and others for presidential duties. And trust me, they're not just your run-of-the-mill choppers, they're armed to the teeth with sophisticated defense measures, just in case anyone decides to mess with the president. It's like the Batmobile of helicopters, except, you know, Russian. All in all, it's estimated that Putin's plane collection totals almost $1 billion. But what if he wants to enjoy the sea breeze while planning a little world domination? Well, he has a solution for that too. Yacht collection. It's said that Putin has not one, not two, but four luxurious yachts. And if we're being real there, let's these babies don't come cheap. One of them, valued at a jaw-dropping $35 million, was actually gifted to Putin by none other than oligarch Roman Abramovich, the guy who owns Chelsea Football Club. Hell of a generous gift gift, if I do say so myself. But it gets even better for Putin, at least. There's another yacht in Putin's fleet worth $100 million, with 13 cabins to accommodate guests and crew, and apparently the biggest pool you've ever seen on a yacht. This thing is basically a floating palace that would put Bond villains to shame. And then there's the pièce de résistance, the alleged $700 million super yacht that's been making headlines. Complete with its own dance floor and golden toilet paper holders, this thing is like a mini city on the water. I mean, we're talking countless swimming pools, a spa, sauna, theater, gym, you name it, this yacht has got it. Known as Scheherazade, after the legendary Persian queen, this luxurious yacht is almost 58 meters long with a neoclassical style, gold-trimmed conference tables, and bedrooms fit for royalty, which Putin kinda is, his own way. Black Sea Mansion. Coming in hot at number one is Putin's Black Sea Mansion. And trust me, this one's gonna blow your mind. So, it's no hidden secret that dispute the Kremlin's claims about Putin's modest salary. The guy actually owns a gigantic mansion atop a cliff overlooking the Black Sea. And the price tag of this place is a staggering $1.4 billion. And this place is so obscenely extravagant that it's often referred to as Putin's country cottage. But let's be real here, it's more like a palace than a cottage. I mean, we're talking about a property that's the largest private 
private residence in all of Russia. Now, the mansion, or should I say palace, boasts a marble swimming pool fit for the gods. I mean, literally, there are statues of Greek gods lining the poolside, and that's just the beginning. It's got an amphitheater, an ice hockey rink, a casino, a nightclub, dining room furniture worth half a million dollars, and a bar table that'll set you back $54,000. And if you happen to use the bathrooms, you'll find Italian toilet brushes worth $850 and toilet paper holders priced at $1,250. Of course, maintaining this level of luxury doesn't come cheap either. It takes a whopping $2 million annually just to keep the landscaping in check, all thanks to a 40-person staff. You gotta hand it to Putin. He's managed to keep his wealth hidden from his haters while enjoying the high life effortlessly. And that's a wrap for today's video. But before you go, who do you think we should feature in our next video? Drop your suggestions in the comments below, and don't forget to click on the videos popping up on your screen for more awesome content.